Thank you, Mimi, for insisting on this uh, miserable bore fest. Uh, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you so much. But, uh, by the way, uh, Mimi, uh, uh -oh. uh, the trauma team has, uh, you know, the Comic Con has a, uh, an award. They're replacing the Eisner now. And we have the, uh, the 2009 <laughs> award. The Pinkster Award. <laughs> For the best roast ever. And um, the Master Award, of course, you are the Master Master, so. Uh, <laughs> Mimi Cruz, ladies and gentlemen! Well, anyway, as you know, uh, people, uh, people think that uh, roast, uh, that by being dragged through the mud is a. Uh, going to bother me. I've had 40 years of being shitted on and pissed on and vomited on. And this is this is nothing. This is trauma 24-7. Our company is uh, kind of famous for um, uh, having influenced many of today's luminaries and uh, di famous directors and actors and, and you know, many uh, uh, famous alumni have come out of trauma and it's just it's just a pity that uh, none of them is here right now, and, uh, <laughs> but maybe on 80th uh, anniversary, and who knows. Now, uh, is that Adam Green here? Where's Adam Green? Who is Adam Green? Oh, Adam Green, right. Uh, his uh, middle name, you know, is straight to video. <laughs> <laughs> he made a very good movie, by the way. Uh, it's called Hack. No, 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 just kidding. It was actually called Hatchet Job. It's about a young gay uh, film director who uh, blows as many people, uh, uh, as many uh, online uh, film reporters and uh, critics as he can. And trying to get some good reviews. Adam Green. Oh, by the way, Adam, that, uh, uh, by the way, Adam, uh, that was my shit you licked off of Spooky Dan's dick. Uh, Mick Harris, thank you so much for being here, Mick. Uh, uh, Stephen King, you know, wrote all of uh, Mick's uh, jokes tonight, but uh, Mick didn't do a very good adaptation. <laughs> <laughs> the last time he did that, it was yellow. <laughs> and I did ask for it. <laughs> anyway, uh, oof, what's that smell or something? So, shit, it's, it smells of bullshit here. Holy cow, Joe Lynch must have burped. I don't believe it. Wow. Unbelievable. Incredible. Well, who else we got on this fine day? Is, uh, <laughs> oh, my heavens. Uh, uh, it's, uh, hold on a second. I made a few notes here. <laughs> this Bat and Lash, who's Bat and Lash, by the way? <laughs> this was just passed, this important note was just passed. <laughs> I don't know what it says, but... I don't read the newspapers or watch TV uh, very much, but one thing I know is when I wake up tomorrow morning, I'll be able to see a live concert with Michael Jackson. That's all I know. That last, all I have to say is, who? Who? Maybe. How far down the barrel did you have to scrape to come up, to come to get to the point of obscurity? That's unbelievable. <laughs> what was that thing with the chicken? That was the foul movement. <laughs> By the way, if some of you people feel something uh, weird in your ass, uh, you famous people out there, it's probably Joel Lynch's nose. Uh, so uh, don't worry about it. You go away. Uh, at any rate, uh, Jim Salakrup is here. Jim Salakrup, the first uh, man to use uh, 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 Vagisil in his hair. And, uh, that's pretty cool. And we've got Hey, Ron Jeremy! Thank God. Ron Jeremy. You know, they have a buffet, they have a buffet in, the, in the green room. And, uh, 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 Ron Jeremy went over to the bologna wrap and fucked it. And, uh, <laughs> and then, Brian Polito ate it. <laughs> Where's John Reber? Where's John Reber? <laughs> Everybody calls him Reber and Troma. They, they can never get it right. But anyway, uh, John Reber's the only dummy uh, stupid enough to show uh, Troma movies on the TV. And, uh, 
The good news is that John Ryder has a full is uh, filming tonight. He's filming this event tonight. It's so nice of you, John, to send a big camera crew here and hey, what the fuck? Where the camera? What? Fuck! Fuck you, good. <laughs> you know why John shows movies on G4 television? The trauma movies. You know why he's uh, showing uh, trauma movies? Four words. Tijuana, donkey, blowjob. <laughs> John Ryder. <laughs> anyway, thank you, John. This is such beautiful, uh, such beautiful words. Uh, who else is here? Who else is here? There's this, this Tim Seaweed still around? Yeah, Tim Seaweed's here. Oh my gosh. Hold on, I got some, something I wrote down about you, but I can't find it. Uh, have I used up my two minutes? Two minutes, sir. <laughs> Yeah, Tim Seeley. Tim Seeley, aside from, uh, uh, don't, you should be at your job over on Front Street giving out uh, blowjobs, shouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, Tim Seeley, uh, you know, has a, a comic book called uh, Hack and Slash, and uh, it's going to be adapted into a movie. It's about uh, the crappy director uh, and the guitarist from, Sla from uh, Guns N' Roses. <laughs> and so they changed the title. It's the uh, Adam Green gets fucked in the ass uh, life story. <laughs> well, who, who hasn't? Hey, Richard Saberstein. Ah, I can't believe you're here. It's amazing. Richard uh, has uh, made quite a name for himself out of uh, uh, making crappy remakes out of uh, classic movies like Mother's Day. And uh, he's up for a big job now at uh, Xerox. Uh, <laughs> carbon copies at uh, Xerox, Richard, so we'll have to... Hey, brought Jeremy, you know, we, we, we told her it was a roast, he brought his own bib. <laughs> Run. We, we got you an apple, come on, man, this is a roast, where's the apple, you pig? <laughs> well, all I can tell you is, uh, all I can tell you is that Joe Lynch is here. <laughs> Joe Lynch, uh, hold on a second here. He did the most talking, so uh, let me give him another little love note here. But, uh, hey, Adam, Adam. <laughs> just, because, just because you made friends with a bunch of zeros who run shitty little horror blog websites, that doesn't make you a respected filmmaker. If that were the case, I'd have been driver of, I'd be the driver of the bang bus. And I'd have a Captain Stabbins foot clean. Remember that young man as you go through life. Uh, well, did I leave anybody out? Uh-oh. Oh, time. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, thank you. Uh, oh, four minutes. Oh, just enough time for, uh, uh, yes, I've got the, uh, the Joe Lynch story. Oh, no, no, no. He wrote all of this while this was going on. <laughs> Hold on one second here. I thought I had another uh, Joe Lynch tribute, but, uh, uh oh, three and a half minutes. Uh, well, at any rate, um, yeah, uh, well. You are. I think that's about it. Any questions from the audience? <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, speaking of all the uh, wonderful uh, male directors, um, it's great to have Penelope Spheris uh, with that incredibly uh, visual uh, message. <laughs> You know you've made it when uh, Alan Carroll from Nightlight Comics sends a video. You know you've, you know you've made it from the big time. Thanks, baby. Yeah. But by the way, I've got some film of Alan Carroll that I can show later in my room at the Motel 6. Well, thank you very much. I think that about wraps it up, Adam Green. And uh, uh, thank you to this wonderful audience. Thank you, Mimi Cruz. Thank you.